Unlocking Nonfiction Primary versus Secondary Sources. Hello, English learners. Today we're going to dive deep into an important part of reading comprehension for nonfiction texts distinguishing between primary and secondary sources. This skill not only aids in understanding your reading materials but also significantly enhances your critical thinking skills. So, let's get started. Let's begin by understanding what primary and secondary sources are. Primary sources are first-hand accounts or original documents created at the time the event you are studying occurred. These could be diaries, letters, speeches, photographs, interviews, or artifacts. In a nutshell, they provide direct or first-hand evidence about an event, object, person, or work of art. On the other hand, secondary sources are documents that are created later and analyze, assess, or interpret an historical event or phenomenon. They often use primary sources. Examples of secondary sources include textbooks, articles, and documentaries. It's crucial to distinguish between these two types of sources because they offer different perspectives on an event or topic. Primary sources provide a direct glimpse into the past, showing you what people thought, did, or said at a specific moment in time. On the contrary, Secondary sources offer interpretation and analysis of those primary sources or events. These are often written with the benefit of hindsight and may also be influenced by the author's individual perspective or bias. Now, let's look at some practical tips that can help you distinguish between primary and secondary sources. 1. Check the time frame. If the source is contemporary to the event, it is more likely to be a primary source. 2. Look at the content. Is it an original document or a first-hand account? Then it's probably a primary source. If it's analyzing or interpreting, it's likely a secondary source. 3. Consider the author. Who is the author? Were they an eyewitness or participant in the event? If so, their work is likely a primary source. Remember, practice makes perfect. The more you practice identifying these sources, the easier it will become. And that's a wrap on our discussion about distinguishing between primary and secondary sources in nonfiction reading. I hope this has helped to clarify the differences and why they are important for your critical reading skills. Keep practicing and soon you'll be a pro at identifying and distinguishing between different types of sources. Happy reading, and see you in the next lesson!